Justin, that, you know, just the way you tossed around those delicate little gnocchis, I mean, I've had them, but store-bought from Italy in a, in a cryopack sealed pouch. Sure. But to see this, and that, that's probably going to be a pesto of some sort, right? This right here is just a uh, spring vegetable puree. Wow. It's uh, English peas, Ooh. a little bit of asparagus, and some uh, fava beans. Okay, so you, you created like a beautiful earth in the center. Yeah, absolutely. And then you are plating this individually with, look at that. The key, of course, is to keep that continuity and that artistic sort of uh, realm of how you build and serve, right? We, yeah, exactly. So not every dish is exactly the same. No, each dish we try to challenge ourselves. And even after seeing that dish plated a uh, hundred times, then the staff we, we alter it some way so that the food is constantly evolving uh, to make it to satisfy us. Yes. Maybe it's the first time the guest has seen it, yeah. but maybe we've seen it a, a multiple multiple amount of times. So just to satisfy us, we love to change the dishes and keep them constantly evolving. Right. So. And speaking of uh, ingredients... The beginning stages of having a, uh, a garden here on property, which um, is, in my opinion, is... is one of the great ways we can distinguish ourselves from all the other, there's so many great Bay Area restaurants in San Francisco and, and Marin restaurants, but, but actually having this connection to what we, what we cook and because we grow it is, is really important to me and, and us moving forward in the evolution of Kuala Point. Um, it's very, this property is so inspiring as a chef. But to take it to the next level, we want to also be inspired by these vegetables that we're growing. And, you know, we're, we're not necessarily focused on growing tomatoes and things like that here because we can go down to the farmer's market here in San Rafael and buy them from our friends. We're growing ingredients that are very obscure and uh, that, are, that we're very passionate about and maybe that are harder to find. Right. Um, so that it's going to be a wealth of inspiration for myself. Much for this so wonderful so tour, pleasure. and so we can't appreciate it enough. It's just great. Oh, and by the way, Justin, uh, when you retire that white uh, outfit that you have on, and you get back into your car and you cruise down the street, and you're going home, and you're hungry, and you don't want to postpone your wife, where do you go? What do you?